Everything you see, it has shaped. It is powerful, relentless, and most of all, constant. And until now, no one knew what to do with it. My name is Pierre Pretorius. I am the construction director for Vestas on the Lake Takana project. Once the project is completed, we will have an installed capacity of 310 megawatt. That is generated through the 365 individual turbines of 850 kilowatt each. Normally, the capacity factor of a turbine is typically about 30 to 40 percent. Lake Takana has a capacity factor of 60%, which is exceptional and pretty much double of what you're used to. Within the very challenging wind climate we have on, on our site, uh, Vestas proved to be able to offer us the optimal solution in order to harness the wind as we see it every day. The scale and the wind conditions of Lake Turkana made it very clear to us from the beginning that this was a huge opportunity for Kenya to bring cheap and endless energy to the people. Energy is a major part of Kenya's future. This is a 310 megawatt project. That will constitute about 15% of the entire national installed capacity. That is huge and massive. 310 megawatts is quite a big industry. And if you can imagine the number of employees that will be required, it will mean that the socio-economic activities generated by that power plant is going to contribute hugely to that particular county. We are heavily deficient in energy. So Electric Kana Wind Power Project is a very important component of Vision 2030's renewable energy requirements. Wind energy is relatively cheaper than uh, fossil fuels. The off-checker buys thermal energy at 20 US cents per kilowatt hour. Wind energy is being fed the grid at 11 US cents. So wind is about 50% cheaper than thermal power. It will send a very clear message to the other African countries that we have a resource that we have not exploited for long, and it is time that uh, we exploit that resource for the benefit of our people. The Lake Takana wind farm is the largest wind farm in Africa. We have an average wind of 11.3 meters per second, which is actually extremely high. The extreme wind conditions we have on our side that requires a very careful evaluation of the technical possibilities and which turbine to choose. Vestas has proven to be an extremely valuable and reliable partner in this regard. What Vestas brings to this partnership is a partner that's committed for the long term. The next thing is the ability to develop turbines and to re-engineer our turbines for these exceptional conditions. So the V52 was chosen for this project. We have unique nested towers that fit like Russian dolls. It makes it very easy to transport. So we are talking some big numbers that we need to deliver as uptime for these turbines for 15 years of a full scope contract. We have to be alert that the, all the parameters of the turbine is absolutely into the green range of what it is supposed to be. In. To harness the wind at Lake Turkana, you need more than the right wind energy solution. You need to take on the challenges of remote locations in new markets. Vestas is definitely the pioneer of the wind industry. Vestas has installed wind turbines in more than 75 countries, and in half of those, Vestas has been the first mover installing the first wind power plant. And the things that really surprised us as project developers in this project was the passion. The passion with which every consultant, engineer, Vestas themselves started working. People became simply passionate, the way we were passionate about it. Lake Turkana has been made possible 
through the active participation of all stakeholders. It's a project about people working together, willing to resolve significant challenges, and most importantly, people willing to provide Kenya and the people of Kenya with an endless resource to produce cheap electricity. Vestas is going to be here for a very long time, and in this regard, we have done a lot of investments in terms of community engagement. The community needs to understand what is it that is being put up? What are these turbines? What is being transported? It is ethical for us to build this kind of a relationship with this community, not just for now, but for the future. My name is Albert Onyango, Logistics Manager of Vestas Eastern Africa. Uh, we are currently at the port of Mombasa. So far, we have received eight vessels coming from China. By the end of the project, we will have overseen 12 vessels delivering 365 turbines. Each convoy carries one V52 wind turbine. The journey is lasting five days from Mombasa to the site. We are talking about 2,300 trips from the port to the site which is located at 1,200 kilometers from the port. 1,200 kilometers of African roads. We're not talking highways. This is a road that goes through villages, towns, and it meets roundabouts. We had to actually construct 210 kilometers of road, which wasn't there. The towers are nested within each other, which is saving 25% of the number of truckloads, which is reducing also the, the size of the fleet reducing the CO2 and the environment impact of the project. We have a team of engineers who look in detail at every process that goes into constructing the foundation, the erecting of the turbine and the commissioning on a daily basis so that we can achieve one turbine a day, 365 in a full year of construction. I see a huge future for wind and renewables on the continent of Africa going forward. The success of a project like this is sending a very strong signal to the region and it means that mega infrastructure projects are possible and are able to be executed in remote locations. When I went to the site again when the first turbines were being erected, and seeing what I had seen for years on engineering drawings, and then suddenly seeing it realized, I said, my God, what did we do here? In a place that no one would have believed. No one would have believed that this could ever be possible, and, and, and we made it possible. The wind, it will displace 60 million tons of CO2 and save Kenya over 100 million euro in fossil fuel imports every year. It will help stabilize Kenya's energy and improve quality of life. The wind, it has always been here. It's time we put it to use. <laughs>